if vertical line test is used to determine a function so now let's look at what a horizontal line test so horizontal line test is a drawing of horizontal line across the graph so if the graph line cuts the graph at exactly one point then the graph is one to one function so you can see from this drawing so we have a, a graph and we draw at a horizontal line then it cuts at only one point so this is one to one function graph so if the line cuts the graph at more than one point then the graph is not one to one function like this so we have more than one point intersection point so we have one two and three let's look at this example so we want to determine the following functions are one to one or not so let's look at example five uh, determine the following functions are one to one or not by using the horizontal line test so the first one we have fx equal to negative 2x minus 3 so this is a linear function so to draw the linear function graph then you have to sub, uh, you have to uh, find two points and then you connect the two points okay let's say you take x is equal to 0 so meaning that meaning that you have to find f0 so to find f0 sorry f0 which is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3 which is equal to negative 3 so from this you have the two uh, the, uh, one point so which is 0 negative 3 and then another one let's say you take uh, when fx equal to 0 so when fx equal to 0 then you have a 3 sorry negative 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 then you have x is equal to 3 over negative 2 so means you have negative 3 over 2 so you have another point here so which is negative 3 over 2 and 0 so you just put the point the two points in the uh, on the axis so 0 negative 3 0 negative 3 should be here so this is negative 3 and this is the point of 0 negative 3 another point is negative 3 over 2 0 so let's say here is the negative 3 over 2 so this one this will be the point and then you just uh, you just uh, connect the two the two points then you have the graph okay now so you want to use horizontal line test okay so let's say i draw horizontal line test so from here you see that it cuts at only one point so what can you say about this function so therefore you can say that fx is is one to one function okay next we have fx equal to negative x squared plus 16 so this is quadratic function so for quadratic function so at least you must have three points to 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 get the graph okay let's say okay so you can find the intercept x intercept first so when fx equal to zero so when fx equal to zero then you have negative x squared plus 16 is equal to zero so from here you will get x squared is equal to 16 so from here you can get x is equal to plus minus 4 so there are two points here you get two points which is 4 0 
and another one is negative 4 0 okay so and then from this function you know that the y intercept should be equal to 16 so you have y intercept so you have 16 sorry so you have 0 16 okay so now you can sketch the graph okay so you can get this okay so roughly so this is negative 4 here is negative 4 here is 4 and here is 16 so if you sketch so how many points of intersection between the graph and the horizontal line so is there are two so since there are two point of intersection at the by using horizontal line test then you can say that fx is not one to one 